Hey everyone and welcome to the 1.18 Let's Play. Yes, 1.18 is finally here. We can see the mountains in the background and I know this is going to be super, super exciting. The terrain looks incredible. I have of course named the world 1.18 Let's Play, so the game mode will be hardcore because I like a bit of a challenge. And don't worry, I'm going to tell you later on in this video uh, what my plans are for this Let's Play. So more options. Um, I'm not going to put a seed for this world because What's the point? Um, 1.18 has just come out and I don't think there are many seeds out there, so we will discover it together. Here we are in 1.18 and we have a jungle right over here. There are no mountains in sight, but that is normal because Minecraft said there would be large areas of flat terrain, then hilly and then mountainous mountainous terrain? I don't know, mountain filled terrain. <laughs> I can't remember how to say it properly. We are, as you can see, in flat um, and slightly hilly terrain. And of course, I will be trying to find a mountain in this episode because yeah, I really want to live on a mountain and I really hope they look super, super cool. First things first, I think we are going to go to the jungle. I'd like to collect a bit of bamboo um, and maybe some melons could be cool too. I will be making a boat to go across a little quicker. What am I planning for episode one? Well, of course, I would like to do my starter base on a mountain and also um, explore the new caves. This update is really all about the terrain, so I really want us to have a look at the incredible terrain underground and above ground. Okay, great. All I find is granite. <laughs> okay, is there any stone? <laughs> oh my. Okay, what? Why is there only granite and andesite? Come on. <laughs> Where is all the stone, sheep? Come on, tell me. Maybe if I go down here. Yeah, but then it's going to be extremely annoying to mine. Hmm. Stone. Okay, finally. <laughs> I think I'm the first Minecraft player to ever struggle so much for just finding some stone. <laughs> Let's get these sheep because, yeah, I wouldn't mind making a bed tonight because in hardcore, um, the night is not always very fun, especially when you are just starting off. How many? Okay, I need to find another sheep and I will get a bit of bamboo. Oh, an azalea tree. Awesome. Oh, and loads of melons. Perfect. So that means if I dig straight down from the azalea tree, I will find a lush cave. Awesome. And I think you can get like the little um, azalea trees from the leaves. Yeah, there, got one. Well, uh, at least I know what I'm going to do right after I collected loads of food. Where are all the sheep? I saw some pigs, but not any sheep. Oh, maybe in the, um, the birch forest. Oh, there. Okay. There. Let's find this lush cave. And that would be perfect because the moss and the berries, they really make for good um, house decorations, you know, and garden decorations. So, yeah. It's really cool that I found one um, early on in the game. But to be honest, I don't think they're that rare. <laughs> I think I am going to sleep because I don't have any coal on me and it's getting pretty dark. And also, I don't really want a creeper accidentally falling on me. <laughs> it would be better. I think it's rooted dirt. You can see the roots. Oh, I thought there would be like roots hanging out from the bottom. I just found a cave but it doesn't look like it's uh, a lush cave. Yeah, I think I need to go a bit further down. Oh, found some iron, perfect. By the way, you can tell me in the comments what excites you the most um, about this update. 
And that actually reminded me of uh, the opposite, what didn't excite me about this update. Um, I learned the very day that the update came out that there wasn't going to be a warden. I watched the, you know, the trailer for the update and um, no warden at all. Uh, so yeah, I was really, really looking forward to the warden. Um, or at least a new mob, you know, the alley or something. But no, no new mobs in this update. We will have to wait another update, the wild update. So yeah, I was really super disappointed about that. But um, yeah, that is how it is. I am on level, oh, 15. Okay, so I have to remember that the world goes down uh, way, way lower. I don't know how much it goes down, but it goes down lower than y equals zero. So that is pretty cool. Oh, still no lush caves. That's strange. Oh dear. Well, I thought, I thought you just had to, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I will make myself a shield before going, but I have to say the advantage of the lush cave is that it is already pretty bright, so mobs don't actually spawn that easily in it, so yeah. Hopefully it'll go okay. Oh, and also I will definitely put the subtitles on because, yeah, we can never be too careful. <laughs> Are you ready, guys? Please, no creeper. Please. Okay. Um, I don't think there are any creepers, which is cool. Oh, and we've got some iron here. Oh, and a lot of water. <laughs> oh! So there are some tropical fish now in the caves, which is nice. What's down here? Ooh, berries! No creeper, no creeper. <laughs> I'm hoping that there is still a lush cave um, to discover, because if it was only that one... Uh, I don't know, it wasn't very big. And to be fair, I wouldn't mind getting a little axolotl. <laughs> there is a bit of clay. I mean, it's pretty cool to have loads of clay now, you know, um, in the lush case, because before, when I wanted to do pots and everything, or bricks, I had to go in every single river and dig out the clay underwater, and it took ages. So that is really pretty, pretty cool. Oh. Okay. So there is... Oh, okay, that is what I was looking for, the roots. So how come rooted dirt doesn't have roots, but deep slate has roots? Okay, that is a good question. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Awesome. We have found some axolotls in this beautiful cave. I have to say axolotls are a great great addition to Minecraft. They are just so sweet. It would be nice if you could get them to follow you around, you know, but I mean they are pretty cool and you can get them in buckets, so yeah. <laughs> oh, I will get these. A blossom, whatever, because they are, yeah, spore blossom, because they look awesome. They make like a really nice atmosphere. I love it. Okay, one thing I have to be super careful with is the fact that the caves are huge and a very, very large amount of monsters can spawn in the same place. So yeah, have to be careful not to have horse. Oh, oh, oh. There is the creeper. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> this is, um, what scares me a bit. <laughs> I can guarantee you that 1.18 is going to be super scary um, in the caves. Super, super scary. So I am getting some drip leaves because I can make like, you know, funny tables out of them. And I've just realized something. These, these caves, these lush caves will be the death of us because creepers will blend perfectly in the moss. <laughs> Oh my. Okay, let's get my first axolotl. 
There we go. What are my plans for this Let's Play? I have realized that I enjoy doing loads of different kinds of videos on this channel, so I wouldn't want to be doing like a 100 episodes Let's Play. It's just, it's just not me, you know? I'm not the kind of person who wants to do always the same things. Um, so, what I will be doing, because it's not fair on you guys if I never finish Let's Plays. So I was thinking, what could be perfect, and it's an idea I got from Rake. I will be doing a 10 episode Let's Play. Um, and of course the 10th episode would be, um, for example, fighting the Ender Dragon and looting the End Cities. The reason I think it's perfect is because I've done quite a few 100 day videos. 10 times 10 equals 100, so I could do 10 episodes of 10 Minecraft days, and that would leave me plenty of time to defeat the Ender Dragon, because I know I am perfectly capable of doing it in 100 days. So now that I have everything, um, what I really want, oh, almost fell, is to find some mountains. Footsteps, I knew it was you. I am not silly. I am not silly. Okay, why... Why am I walking so slowly? Okay. In which direction should I go for finding mountains? Uh... Should I go... Oh. Uh, wait, I am going to take the coordinates. So by the way, guys, if you would like to know how to take coordinates, you press F3. You've got the XYZ. Um, and you can press F2 to take a screenshot. As you can see, save screenshot. Then you go in percent app data percent, and then you press the dot Minecraft folder, screenshots, and you will find these screenshots. And I'm sure what I've just explained is not clear at all, <laughs> but I tried, <laughs> I made my best for a quick explanation because yeah, the let's play is not a tutorial. This is not what it's all about. <laughs> This is taking a bit of time. <laughs> I'm a tiny bit worried. Um, but hopefully we will end up uh, near some mountains soon. Should I have gone like behind the jungle? Oh no. To be fair, I am getting a little bit disappointed here. I thought I would be finding mountains super easily, but um, I guess not. First, I need to stop by these cows to get a bit of leather. What's that? Oh, pumpkins. Yeah, I really need to get all the leather I can because if I want to kill the ender dragon at the end of 100 days, I will need to get some enchantments. I think 10 episodes is good because I don't feel like I'm rushing too much, but at the same time, the let's play is not going to be too long and I will be able, you know, to um, still continue doing loads of other videos on the channel. I am a bit worried that I'm not going to find some mountains. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, and quick note, guys. Um, so I said I would be doing, you know, oh, and we've got a little creeper. I said we would be doing 10 Minecraft days per episode, but that is only the minimum. So of course, if for example, um, I do not finish an episode at day 10, I will of course uh, continue, but it was, you know, to kind of explain the minimum, but that doesn't mean that every episode will be only 10 days. I remember a few years back, um, I would kind of play Minecraft when I was feeling a bit down, you know? I would go ahead and play Minecraft and kind of build, you know, my house in um, the snowy mountains and it would just remind me of uh, where I go to in real life. I go to some mountains in the Alps every winter and it just reminded me of that and it made me feel a bit better. So yeah, it would really mean a lot to me, well, in a kind of a cute, cozy way to find some mountains with a bit of snow and all. There are no mountains in sight. Well, at least I am uh, collecting quite a bit of leather, which is very, very good. Oh, some wolves. Well, I guess um, I will be having a pet wolf pretty soon. Um, but of course I need to start killing some skeletons first. We are on day three, but uh, that doesn't count day zero, so we are on day four. So yeah, I will most definitely um, play for more than ten days, of course. 
Let's do a little jump. Woohoo! <laughs> I've realized I have not uh, found a village yet. Um, so, yeah, I wonder, will villages struggle more to spawn on the mountain biome? Like on the, on the hilly biomes, I wonder. Maybe not, maybe, I don't know. Oh my! <laughs> what is happening here? Is it Halloween or something? <laughs> I don't know why I'm shaking all the all the pumpkins. I do not know why. This is a bit useless, just picking up all the all the pumpkins. Oh, do you know what that reminds me? The word of the day. So basically, if you are new to the channel, um I do a word of the day. Well, it should be called word of the let's play part i don't know <laughs> the word of the let's play episode but it doesn't sound very good so we are going to call it the word of the day the french word of the day where basically each episode i teach you guys some french words um so what could it be uh it could be cow i don't know have i done mountain i wonder and do you know what i'm going to do mountain guys that is it that is what I was looking for. And it's got the spruce trees. Oh my. Okay, I think I think that is what I'm looking for. Oh my, I'm so, so happy. And there are some wolves nearby, so this is really, really perfect. Is this powdered snow? Block targeted powder snow. Okay, so it's not powdered, it's powder. And is it true you can freeze? Okay. What? Oh, oh, okay, 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 you can- <gasps> Okay, my god. You can freeze. <gasps> oh my god. What? Oh my god! <gasps> oh my god, okay, I'm still freezing. What? Oh my god, how do I get out of here? Oh my god, this is terrifying. How do I get out of here? <laughs> oh my! Okay, this is terrifying. Do I still want to live here? But I mean, powdered snow will make for an excellent, um, you know, mob protector. I don't know if you can say that, but yeah. So is that snow? Okay, so how do I make the difference? Like a snow block and that is just pretty dangerous, I have to say. There has to be a way to prevent... Uh, you sinking in the snow. There has to be something. I have just now realized that there isn't a replay mod uh, for 1.18 yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is the good old bad transition. <laughs> I'm just going to do like, you know, the magic transition. There we go. And when I turn around, um, yeah, it's all cleared up and snowing. Okay, it's snowing now. And then, guess what happened? Rake showed me some mountains he had found, and I realized that the mountain I had found was not as good as um, the beautiful snowy peaks you could find. And so I set off on a journey to find a proper mountain this time. At one point, I came across wow. these pillagers, and um, yeah, I didn't have any armor, I didn't have any good food on me, I was eating melons. So I quickly hid into a hole and cooked the raw meat I had on me, and truthfully made a run for it. Finally, I spotted some beautiful peaks in the distance. And now all that was left to do was actually reach them. Because yeah, the new 1.18 terrain is a bit more difficult to climb up or at least longer to climb up than all the terrains from Minecraft pre 1.18. I then made it to the top and made my best not to step into some powder snow. And that's when Rake told me that I could actually make some leather boots and walk on the powder snow. So yeah, it was all for nothing. <laughs> but at least now I knew um, how to travel the mountain safely. As you can see, I found these beautiful mountains um, with this little green patch in the middle. And I now have uh, my leather boots so I can easily walk <laughs> on the powder snow, which is pretty nice, I have to say. And oh, by the way, look, there's a kind of a heart in the mountain, which is kind of cute. 
with some iron so I will definitely try and go there at one point but first um, I'm wondering if I should maybe do my house around here you know like I don't want to make it on top of the mountain but I don't want to make it too low either I've cut down all the trees and I will now um, start digging out the area to flatten it out um, for when I build my house and I've realized that you know normal snow is nice to break but the powder snow you don't get anything from breaking it so and it takes longer to break so yeah <laughs> It's a bit annoying. By the way guys, you can tell me how you would like to name um, my axolotls. One of them is like white, blue and pink and the other one is the brown one. So yeah, you can tell me in the comments um, how you would like to name them and why. By the way, I've just remembered that I had said that the word of the day would be mountains and then I never said it. <laughs> okay, so mountains in French is montagne, montagne. So you have to be careful because the on sound, O-N in French you pronounce on. This is not a sound that you will ever hear or use in the English language. So the only way you can get it right is by practicing to say it and saying it several times until you get it right. By the way, guys, I'm really sorry if there are any lags. Um, you know, 1.18 has just come out and, um, you know, there's all these huge biomes. So hopefully it won't be lagging too much. What could this sentence be? Um, I'm going to build my house in the mountains. House in French is maison. Maison. I'm going to build my house. Je vais construire ma maison. So build is construire. I'm going to build my house. Je vais construire ma maison. So construire is build and maison is house. And then the second part, dans les montagnes, in the mountains. So I'm going to build my house in the mountains. Je vais construire ma maison dans les montagnes. As you can see, I got um, some deep slate, so hopefully it's going to be enough. But truthfully, I think it will be because I won't be making a really big house. So yeah, I think we are all set to climb up this mountain and um, start building. I will make a stone cutter because it makes you waste less resources. So um, yeah, hopefully it will work okay yeah perfect and it makes you make immediately what you want to do which is super cool what am I going to do I think I'm going to make a sort of uh, the entrance could be here one two three four five there and then I will make the house in an L shape and I really want to add a tower I love adding towers to my houses I don't know why <laughs> So there will probably be a little tower here, uh, which could represent maybe the cellar or something like that. So yeah, let's start things up. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that's good. That is what I was looking for. Oh, and it's starting to snow. Um, but you know what? I actually love the snow without a shader. I think the shader is nice when it's sunny, but when it snows, I think I will take off the shader. Like the shader makes things way too dark, you know? So yeah, when it snows, it's better to just enjoy, you know, the lovely Minecraft snow <laughs> in all its glory. I'm realizing this is using quite a bit of wood. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I think I will need to cut down some more trees um <laughs> yeah this is pretty wood consuming <laughs> if we can say this so as you can see i have been chopping down quite a few trees um and there is a little zombie here okay um i will definitely be planting them again because the area i live in won't look very nice um if i don't so um I wonder, is there a cave? Oh, there's a cave. Okay, I should maybe block it up. Uh, I have been working on um, the roof. I still need to finish it. I've planted loads of berries everywhere. <laughs> 
I actually wanted to use some white terracotta for the top. Um, but I still haven't killed any skeletons, so that will have to wait. But here is the house for the moment. I might have exaggerated a bit with the berries. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, no, I will be, <laughs> I will be uh, redecorating a bit because there are way too many berries. Um, and here is the little tower. It doesn't look super good. I have to debate on if I will actually keep um, the tower made out of spruce or if I will change the walls to something else. I don't know, I have to see. Or maybe I might make the tower larger. I don't know, I have to think about it. I think um, the pillagers <laughs> are in the snow for some reason. I'm having a look there in the powder snow, but I cannot find where they were. And it seems as though I do not take damage, you know, when I sneak with the boots. So that is pretty cool. So about the house, as you can see, I use bricks and terracotta. And it was truthfully very handy to have all that clay from the lush cave. As you can see, I decided to completely remove the tower and I put this little chimney instead um, out of bricks and terracotta once again. And I went around the place collecting some seeds. So it was super handy because there's a meadow really close. It is not much, but it is a cozy little starter house. And I hope that you enjoyed it and that you think it fits um, the scenery well. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching. So for next week's video, I was thinking maybe we could go and explore diamonds. Maybe we could explore the caves and maybe even find some diamonds. I really hope I will see you in next week's video. Love you.